Well, if you've been unhappy with your cell phone and internet service, get in line. Complaints against telecom providers have jumped nearly 10% over the last year. For more on that, let's bring in Tyler Orton from Business in Vancouver. Tyler, what are some of the top complaints? Well, it might not surprise you, but when we look at the report from the Commission for Complaints for Telecom Television Services, that's a mouthful, I know, but uh, <laughs> they are pointing to wireless problems. They also cover complaints with regards to internet services, but it's wireless number one with regards to cell phone bills as well as contracts after that. Overall, the industry watchdog accepted 17,000 complaints last year. And keep in mind, these were mostly focused on the top three companies, such as Telus, Bell, and Rogers. But if you add in the subsidiary companies, those labels like Chatter or Kudo, you're well over 50% of complaints accounting for those services. Now, keep in mind, the watchdogs report, it covers the first full year of the pandemic. So you can expect that maybe rates were or complaints were on the rise just because more pressure is being put on the networks as more people were working from home as of last year. For me, it's the fake robocalls. Like, I'm pretty sure I've got three in the time that you and I have chatted. It's just enough already. Okay. You. Uh, about you and I talking, you and I talked about a BC company, Damon Motors, a few months ago and their new facility coming to Surrey. Well, now they've got a way to pay for it. Oh, it's huge. They've just raised $30 million U.S. from investors. They just announced it this morning. And this comes, well, they actually raised that same amount back in March. So they got $60 million to help finance that new facility that you mentioned. It'll be their new headquarters out in Surrey, 110,000 square feet. Well, they'll be able to produce uh, 40,000 e-motorbikes, electric motorbikes annually once it hits full capacity. Now, Look, we're not any sort of motor city like Ontario mm -hmm. or Detroit, but the company says that because of our clean tech know-how, we have enough talent here that we need to be able to tap into that here in Vancouver. You wouldn't be able to necessarily do that because the company is planning on hiring hundreds of people after they get into full capacity mode moving forward. So it's going to be a very busy near year next year when they begin rolling out their first e-motorbike. So expect more jobs coming as well as just more options for BC travelers as well. Yeah probably helps that they're very cool looking bikes as well. Tyler Orton, business oh, yeah. in Vancouver. Thank you, sir.